I um I've been lazy. So I haven't been doing my sadhana. Sadhana means spiritual practice. So I have uh, been uh, initiated into a few programs through Isha Foundation and I've uh, been having issues doing my practices regularly regularly as it's supposed uh, as I'm supposed to for the last couple of years so why well there's many reasons I've been moving around I moved from the big city I uh, moved to a small town and uh, I had to stay in uh, share accommodation every now and then so I didn't want to disturb people I didn't want to look weird I didn't want to make noise for them or uh, disturb their beliefs so or uh, we can say it's because I lost my job I got made redundant or uh, because I did the wrong spiritual practice this is the thing with reasons if you don't do what you can do then it's just excuses None of these things stop me from doing my practices. It's just excuses. So why is never relevant? So how? What are the facts? Well, no discipline. I mean, my last video was about discipline, but I haven't had the discipline to do it. I've been uh, chasing pleasure, looking for stimulation, you know, playing video games, watching uh, YouTube videos, movies, TV shows, playing games on my phone, my computer, things like this, or uh, anything really that uh, will bring me some validation. So there was more focus on doing and uh, accomplishing rather than on uh, being, doing what is right for this life. So no patience. I have had no patience like for things like that's what it feels like, you know, so the resistance in the mind you know, is that, you know, it takes too long. Like, it's like when you want to wash dishes or you want to do some chores, something which you don't enjoy or you feel like it's not stimulating. You know, you're not getting the dopamine hit. So you procrastinate. So... Is it like I'm scared of the pain? Like, am I a coward? You know, so that comparing, you know, from this and that, like where we have been conditioned, where we have developed this memory inside us to seek quick fix, something, a quick fix of everything or validation. Like, I don't want to do something for me I want to do something which people will appreciate or I want to be in a way that people feel sorry for me so that I can get some attention that's part of the reason why I didn't even want to do this video I didn't want to talk about this because in some way it also gives people an excuse you know so how did it happen, you know? All this, like, attention seeking to show people how I'm doing. But how did I feel? You know, 
I know like when I don't do it and it's the same thing like washing dishes or doing all these other shows after you do it there is a sense of uh, fulfillment you feel like wow you know and there is uh, an ease like there is not as much tension in the body you are a lot more at ease knowing that you know things are clean you have done what is needed what is necessary not what you want so when i don't do it it's on my mind there is that tension there is a bit of guilt is a bit of regret and i start feeling like got no energy i just want to lie down you know just lie there and do not well not do nothing but just you know play some games or sleep sometimes eat you know looking for that hit so i drown in that feeling i don't want to do any, anything you know and so what people will say well is that not depression well let's look at it i know what is wrong i know what i need to do to make it right and i'm capable i know i'm capable of doing it you know am i a coward am i afraid of doing what needs to be done am i afraid of what comes with that that responsibility of uh being at ease or being in such a place that people can rely on me you know am i scared of that is it that i just want people to keep feeling sorry for me you know for 2 years i used to do my practices very like regularly so in the morning 2 2 and 1/2 hours in the evening also 2 to 3 hours i was doing it so i know i can do it but is a question of uh, lethargy the low energy just being dead to life being deathless that deathful <laughs> i don't know lifeless let's say not feeling alive you know and i know that if i do my practices i'll feel alive but there is always there is no that burning is not there that passion is not there if i have to use the word passion but is because i'm doing too much snacking getting too many hits like pleasure all of this snacking you know i wake up like i talked about it in my discipline video pick up the phone the energy is sucked out as soon as i pick up the phone i start doing something on the phone i can feel my aliveness coming out or going down i can just feel it and uh i'll be there doing it for a while i'll move somewhere else maybe on the sofa lie down do that for another you know always there's that oh i'll do it after this i'll do it after this like one more game or one more thing let me check one more thing you know after this you know it keeps going like this so i just want to get some quick hits that pleasure that dopamine is never enough and this is the pain of knowing your ignorance or your unconsciousness i you are conscious of your suffering 
because pleasure is suffering you know you might think that you're happy at some point but it's just a hit of pleasure you know that pleasure means there's suffering inside you and it's never enough you get one quick hit one quick hit we know it's never ending so we need i need to bring that intensity like today i did my practices so <laughs> i'm getting back on it still every now and then there's a bit of a struggle but i wanted to do this just to get it out there so that i know there's somebody out there who is thinking about me and you know it's never enough most of the time like i'm doing it for my guru i'm doing it for my family for my son for my life this and that we know it but we don't really know it uh, you know why you're doing something like uh doing your health or doing something which is right for the majority it's not about you but for life not what you want but it's a sacrifice so this is where the discipline comes in but a lot of the time is not enough as uh, you say if you look at a lot of people who have done great things like Eminem and it's like they were doing it for somebody you know because they had a daughter or they had like a son or something is uh they wanted to do it for them so there is that but still there's so much memory which is building to keep snacking you know so the way to do it i know is just to start do it without expectations just do it joyfully because you don't know what you will get out of it like nobody special when i was going around over the weekend i went to take some things to the dump or i don't know what they call it in other countries but where we throw the rubbish went to take some green waste you know some trees and leaves and stuff and i saw some people doing something like they look pretty young so you know the thought came to me you know <laughs> it's not something you expect but they're willing to do it or they know that they need to do it so they're doing it it's just a question of willingness it's not that they're special in any way this is what i've realized in doing so many different jobs over the years is that nobody is really special is that it's just that they are willing to do what is needed so it's a question of being willing once you're willing you don't know how it will go but at least you will do something how much is your life worth this might not be in your realization that we are here only because of this life you know it has allowed us through evolution the opportunity to know ourselves so for what that is worth we should be willing to invest a lot more than we are investing in these little pleasures which we know is not taking us anywhere just all this snacking so it's my wish and also my striving for myself that i will keep that discipline i'll bring that discipline maintain it to keep doing my practices because i'm responsible i am willing to respond to what is needed i am life and life takes care of itself you must fall in love with something something means something to you you will wake up in the morning nothing means anything to you where is the reason to wake up in the morning it's only by inclusion that life will blossom 
If you have to include something into yourself, there must be space, isn't it? <laughs> if you have to fall, only then there will be space for something else or somebody else. Because right now, what you think is me is not you, just a bundle of thoughts, emotions, ideas and prejudices, isn't it? That's not you. So, how to motivate you? So, that's why the sadhana. You must come and do some sadhana. Initially, somebody will motivate you, you see. There are very few people who can propel themselves from step one. Most others need push, often on a little kick here and there. <laughs> the rest they will do.